For centuries, whiskey has held an enduring appeal for many. But for one man, Mr. Gooding, whiskey became a personal devotion. Across decades of dedication, he carefully assembled a collection of over 3,900 bottles. In terms of my time in whiskey, uh, professionally, this is, I would say, easily top five collections that I've ever seen, and certainly the most extensive that I've ever seen come to market. This collection, for me, is unprecedented. Not only is it the biggest collection of whiskey ever to come to public sale, it's the biggest collection of Macallan, uh, it's the biggest collection of Bamore, it's the biggest collection of Springbank, and that list goes on and on and on. Well, my name is Charles McLean, and I drink for a living. <laughs> I'm a writer specialising in Scotch whisky. My main interests are the history of Scotch whisky and what's called sensory evaluation, assessing, assessing quality. I'm Angus McCrailed. I'm a freelance whisky writer, consultant, and I do some work with whisky festivals, tastings, and a lot with auctions, so valuing and dating and authenticating old bottles of whisky and tasting as many of them along the way as possible. My name's Johnny McMillan. Uh, I'm the whisky cask buyer for Berry Brothers and Rudd. Uh, I'm the co-founder of the whisky show Old and Rare. I found about this collection through my friend and business partner, Johnny McMillan. So I, I got a call from, from a friend of mine who, who runs a distillery in Arkansas. He told me that uh, a friend of his had some bottles of whisky to sell and didn't know what they were worth. I've got this, this collection that I've, I've heard about uh, in America. You know, I assumed it would be 10 or 20 bottles, little by little, the, the list sort of dripped out. I started looking through the list and I just couldn't believe. Um, frankly, I was awed. I was awed. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> you know, three and a half thousand bottles. And I started to see some photographs and jaw-dropping. What is this ridiculous collection, you know? McAllen Adami, 1926 McAllen Fine and Rare. Ten bottles of 40-year-old Lafroy. No one has that. That's, you know, ridiculous. I was Richard's pilot for 35 years. We went to Ireland and Scotland, somewhere between 10 and 20 trips, specifically for auctions or purchasing whiskies. We pulled up to Talisker and just knocked on the door and people answered and they gave us tours and it was before all of the tasting rooms were open and all the displays and stuff like that. He was into the whiskey business long before it became as popular as it is today. My name is Becky Paskin. I was the editor of scotchwhiskey.com. I'm now a writer, consultant and whiskey specialist and whiskey is quite honestly my life. Mr. Gooding's collection is nothing short of overwhelming, really. There's no other word for it. It's just staggering how much he managed to collect in just a couple of decades, flying all around the world to pick up bottles to either complete holes in his collection or just because he really loved the whiskey itself. And we would go like McAllen, and we would go in and he would start talking to the people there and he said, well, okay, I'd like to have this one and I like to have these, and that one, and that one, and that one. And the next thing you know, they're kind of looking at him going, well, do you want these or do you want those? And he said, well, I want them all. You can see through the bottles and through the collection a sense of what his passion was and the things he liked. And you can also get a sense of the more unique quirks in his tastes as well. That's what, to me, is the hallmark of a, of a great collection. The eclecticism of it, from a consumer's point of view, there is the opportunity to compare you know, the same year, same whiskey, but different bottlers, different bottlings. So you can have vertical tastings or horizontal tastings um, galore. To purchase so many of one particular bottle as well shows that he wasn't in it just for collecting purposes. He was in it to try bottles, to open them and enjoy it with friends, for the love of whiskey, basically. He tasted a lot when we were on these trips, but the great majority of his purpose was to have a collection at the end of one of everything that was ever made. The perfect collection. 
So there's over three and a half thousand bottles in this collection that will be going to the secondary market. I think they're really going to energise that market and provide a lot of excitement for buyers all around the world. Buying a bottle of whisky from this collection could be considered as carrying on Mr. Gooding's legacy in a way. It's also a way for, for a buyer to really have a sense of provenance about where that bottle has come from, so who's purchased it in the first place. That person has lovingly cared for it because they have such a passion for whisky. If you're in whisky like me for old bottles and history and bottled history, then there's very few things like this have ever come to market or happened. You know, a whole collection like this, it's pretty unprecedented, I would say. This collection is so comprehensive. Mr. Gooden clearly was a dedicated, passionate individual with a keen eye for collecting rare, unique, amazing whiskies, buying from distilleries that have long since closed. And then you've got the collection that sort of evolves through more recent periods up to the legendary Macallan Fine and Rare series or the Macallan Adami in the 1926 bottlings, which are legendary in themselves. The collection has a, a wide range of independent bottlings of Signatory and Caden Heads and Samaroli. These bottles are infamous in the quality of whisky that was put inside. You know, the uniqueness of some of these independent bottlers, uh, these US imported bottles. So Whiskey Auctioneer really evolved around the desire to really be a part of whisky history and the love of being involved in what could be described as a golden era of whisky making and whisky drinking or, or collecting. It's hugely exciting to be a part of bringing all of these whiskies together, all of the focus of one man's passion into an opportunity to auction those bottles and present them to the wider public.